Voltageous. Let's add it to the playlist. I can't thank you ghouls enough for helping Frankie and me with our mad science project. Venus and I are finally going to discover once and for all if monster plants respond to different kinds of music. And I'm finally going to discover whether my good side is on the left or the right. Ah, <sighs> science. Huh, this is interesting. My selfie science? No, I mean, I was searching for some music and found this story about some kind of... Musical ghost. The Phantom of the Caverns. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found our next lost monster. Good luck, ghouls. Venus and I have some sciencing to do. See you when you get back. Oh, um, Torelai, you're standing in our way. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Ghoul Squad. That's Ghoul Squad. Wait, that's what you said, isn't it? Never mind! Tarali, can we just get by, please? Not if you're here for another one of those rescue missions. Quit bringing you monsters to the school. We already have a me. We don't need any more. What are you doing in the library anyway? What? I happen to love books. Can't a weird cat enrich her curious mind? I released a zombie hamster in the creepetary and Mr. Dracula gave me a week of library duty. Totally? Yes, Mr. Dracula. Oh, Dad, did you get my text about the phantom? I did, and it's a fascinating ghost story. It started when some humans investigating ancient ruins began to hear mysterious music coming from a nearby cave system. And uh, totally! What? Oh, follow the music and you'll find your phantom. Thanks, Dad. Oh, oh my gosh, I should have learned so much. Uh, look at me. I'm Mr. Dracula. <laughs> hey, what's this? Phantom Cavernous Musicales? Exto Monst. Exto, wait a second. I want to go with you on that mission thingy. Okay, Torlai has completely lost it. Torlai, put your arms above your head and take deep breaths. I'm serious. I've been doing some soul searching and realized that maybe you girls are onto something helping lost monsters. Really? You told us not to go looking for lost monsters like seven minutes ago. I'm a fast soul searcher. I say she can come with us. You sure about that, ghoul friend? Seeing the ghoul squad in action might do Torelai some good. Besides, everyone's entitled to a second chance. Or, you know, a 481st chance. Come on, Torelai, you're in. Plossum! <laughs> Phantom Cavernous Musicalis, Exto Monstrum! Is it moving? No, it's not moving. Are you sure? It looks like it's moving. Oh, it's not moving. We're almost out of music. Come on, buddy, give us something. Frankie, is my head moving? Nope. Is mine? No. -uh. Which means that, that planet, planet is, is rocking out! out! This is fantastic! Oh, let's see what other music it likes. Oh, okay, okay. Or we could listen to this a little longer. Hey, I can hear music. It's this one, definitely. Follow the music and we find our phantom. Which way do we go, Claudine? It's hard to pinpoint the sound. I think the music is coming from that way. Great. You ghouls go that way. I'll go check out this other tunnel. But 
Claudine says she hears music coming from that way. Um, I actually hear music coming from this tunnel. You ghouls don't hear it? Uh, uh, listen. <laughs> Come on, Torelai. The ghoul squad is sticking together. Ugh, fine. I don't get it. This is where the music is the loudest, but it's a dead end. Now what do we do? Pretty good. <laughs> this is so exciting! The stories about the Phantom of the Caverns turned out to be true. <laughs> yeah, I do believe I had a hand in those ghost stories. When I heard some humans poking around out there, I started playing my music extra loud to give them a little fright. That's pretty clever, Operetta. <laughs> Well, I had to do something to keep them out of these caverns, on account of all the diamonds. Wait, diamonds? Where? Where diamonds? You're telling me you made it all the way through these caverns without looking down? We've been walking on diamonds this whole time? These caves used to belong to an ancient civilization and stored all their treasures in here. The diamonds don't mean much to me, but listen to those acoustics. Oh, I always wanted to make a diamond angel. Dreams do come true. Well, help yourselves. Take a few diamonds for the road if you like. But whatever you do, do not touch the great diamond. The great diamond? Who took the great diamond? What? I didn't take it. Okay, I took those diamonds, but I didn't take the great... Okay, I took the great diamond. You knew these caves were filled with diamonds. That's why you wanted to come with us. I may have seen something about something on the computer thing. We've got to get to getting out of here while we have the chance. There are dire consequences for anybody that takes that diamond. What kind of dire consequences? Big, rumbling, rock-falling consequences. Draculaura, quick! We can teleport with the Mephalog. Monster High Exto Monstrum! It's not Exto Monstrum, Ming. Maybe we're too far underground for it to work. Don't know much about teleporting, but I do know every nook and cranny of these caverns like the back of my banjo. Follow me! I don't know. Well, we can't go back that way, so... Oh, I know how much you ghouls love a wild adventure. And you definitely got one. So, you're welcome? Uh, 
Okay, H how about I split some of the diamonds with you? No? Okay, more diamonds for me then. <gasps> well, ghouls, looks like I'm in need of a new place to call home. Oh, then it's a good thing we're here to tell you about a place called Monster High. you to keep playing. The Adventures of the Ghoul Squad